out with my N7 Classic Tan. I use this all the time whenever putting on foundation. It is my favorite foundation and it's really like inexpensive. So I really like this foundation. So I just always like pour it on the back of my hand. And I just pour enough just to lightly coat my face. I don't really need full coverage because I use concealer and stuff because I am going to contour. This is a... Ooh, hair on this brush. This is a no-name brush. I don't know who this is by, but it's like one of my favorite brushes to use. So I'm just going to be like buffing that foundation in. And as you can see, this is like the perfect foundation for my skin tone. I absolutely love it. It's like literally my favorite foundation ever. Make sure you get that neck too. And I love this, um, I love this brush. I mean, honestly, I have no idea. I think I got it in like one of those packs or whatever. Like when you order like no name brushes and stuff. I think that's where it came from. If it didn't come from one of those packs, then it definitely came from iMat, so where you can just buy those random brushes. I believe I actually did get it at iMat, so now that I think about it. But yeah. So I'm just making sure I get all of my face and buff it on my neck. You just wanna always make sure your neck matches your face. So believe it or not, even though I'm putting on a lot of makeup, I'm actually going to be doing like a really natural look. So, it's actually not gonna be that bad. So I like to contour um, before I do my eyes. I know a lot of people like do their eyes before they do anything else, but because I'm doing such a neutral, like natural eye, I'm going to contour first. So I recently came across Pure Minerals Makeup, and this is honestly the best contour uh, thing I've ever used. I don't even know what it's called. It's the Dual Ended Contour Foundation in Dark. That's the color that I use. I actually have the lighter one too. And um, I like the darker one just because it gives me a better contour. So I'm going to be going in and using this concealer. I'm going to add a little bit underneath my eyes. And this is just going to kind of brighten up that under eye area. And it just twists. So you can just like twist it and put it on. And I like it because it's not that much brighter. Sometimes I go in with a really bright concealer, but today, since we're doing a more natural look, this comes in handy really, really well. It's gonna be like kind of putting that on. And then I'm gonna just do here, down the bridge of my nose, <laughs> a little above the cupid's bow of my lip, and then we're just gonna do my chin. So before I go in with the darker color contour, I like to blend out the lighter color first. So these come with these slanted, like, um, I guess beauty blender style sponges. I honestly like this better than the beauty blender and I didn't think that I would ever come across anything better than the beauty blender, but this is actually better. So thumbs up to Pure Cosmetics for giving you these amazing sponges with their uh, contour, dual ended contour foundation. This is honestly <laughs> amazing. So I'm just going to pat this in lightly and it really does work really really well guys i really like this thing and i have the lighter one as well so i actually have two of these which made life so much simpler so i use this for the lighter contour and then i'll go in with the other sponge for the darker contour so we're gonna flip it around and just use the other side now this is super super dark but that's okay because i'm gonna blend it out so i just kind of like to go in right here i like to make this face and I just create like a dark line. Like so. And then we're just gonna blend that out. Now I'm going to use a powder up here to do the contour over my face. So now I'm just gonna take this brush. This is what I use to buff out this darker contour. And then I go in and kind of just like blend it all in with the sponge. So I'm just gonna buff this out. I'm gonna just go in with the sponge and buff it out. A little 
So now I'm gonna go in with this Sacha Cosmetics Buttercup um, setting powder. I love this. I've kind of like started liking it more than I like the Ben Nye Banana Powder. So I'm just taking a simple beauty blender. This is actually a beauty blender. And I'm gonna be patting it in the powder and then I'm just going to be applying it underneath my eyes like this. And this is just going to set that concealer. And the reason why I didn't use a lighter concealer because this powder already is like really light. So I wanted to kind of just chill out on the really bright concealer because this is bright as it is. And it's going to set and create that natural highlight anyway. So I'm going to let this bake on my face for a little while. I'm just going to put some in those areas where I put the lighter concealer, like on my forehead, and down the bridge of my nose. And we are going to just kind of let that sit for a little bit. I'm also gonna create a line underneath right here. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX contour kit, and I'm gonna be using, where's my contour brush? I'm just gonna use actually so I don't have it in front of me so I'm just gonna use this brush and I'm going to just put the brown powder over here just to set that and I'm gonna be using the darkest brown for this I'm just using that to kind of set that contour color I don't know it looks really dark right now guys but I promise you I'm gonna blend all this out before we you know get to the rest of our face but like I said this is a really really natural look even though we're using so much makeup um, I promise once I blend it all out it's gonna look really natural so while this is baking I'm gonna start on my brows so I like to use this um, Jordana coffee bean pencil I believe this is a lip pencil but I use it as a brow pencil because it works so well so I'm just gonna be taking it and applying it to my brows. Now I need to kind of get close up for this, so I'm going to be using my Carly Bible Palette Mirror. I'm just going to go in with this little pink brush and kind of blend all this out so that it doesn't give me the boxy brows. So I'm kind of just taking this brush and blending all that out in the middle. Now I'm going to blend all this out and just get rid of any harsh lines that may be there before we get started on our eyes. Hold on. So my neighbors just knocked on my door and asked me if I had a cat because the cat just ran, <laughs> I guess, in their um, apartment. So they thought like, oh, maybe it's one of the neighbors. And it's actually some girl's cat. She actually just came forward and like, it's mine. So now that I have all that blended out, we're gonna get started on our eyes. So I did bring along some concealer because I'm not in my room. Um, I'm gonna just put this on my lids. I use this as just a base. You can use any kind of eyeshadow primer if you want, but this is what I use. Oh, and it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer, by the way. I'm obsessed. I have it in like every color that kind of goes with my face, I guess. I ordered like 10 of them when I ordered them. So I just use this, and it works really, really well as a concealer, by the way. I just pat it on my eyes. Wait, it works well as a concealer, and it works well as a primer, is what I meant to say. So yeah, you can use it for both. So to keep a natural eye look, guys, I actually use this old e.l.f. bronzer. It's super old, but it goes on so nicely and it just really creates that like nice, like natural look that I'm always going for. So I just kind of put it on and I just buff it on my lid. And honestly, this is as simple as it gets. This is the only thing I'm gonna put on my lids. And this is how I create that natural makeup look that you guys are always asking about because I do it in a lot of my pictures now. And you're just like, oh, how do you create that look? Like, I want to see a tutorial, and I honestly have never done one on this look. Even though I've done natural makeup look tutorials, I, I have one actually that's very similar to this. Um, but this one, I'm actually going to be using lashes 
and I'm using lashes because to me lashes still give you that nice natural look so to create my natural makeup look I use clear bland lashes and these are smashing black um, it doesn't have a number I think that's just the name of them I actually got these at the local beauty supply store but they're very natural looking so I use these when I'm doing like a really natural makeup look you want to let the glue just get tacky believe it or not and just to kind of let it dry a little before you put it on that way it will stick a lot better and then I'm just gonna use tweezers now the reason why I'm using tweezers I don't normally use them but I use them when I don't have any liner on it's easier for me to apply lashes when I have liner but because I'm not wearing liner I'm going to actually use tweezers to apply these lashes so I like to get them in the middle and then just apply them so for this one I'm just gonna use my hand because it's easier this way Like at first I was using the tweezers, but I can still do it with my hand and still get the same results. The tweezers I just kind of use for in the corner. So for under my eyes, I'm really going to go in with mascara and just kind of apply that. So for lips, I'm actually going to be using the same pencil that I use in my brows. And I'm just using this to like outline my lips, to just to give them a fuller look. So I'm actually going in really, really lightly with this, like to the point where you can barely see it. It's going to be like a really faint line. I'm not going to do a strong brown line, okay? It's just going to be very faint. See so guys, it's really, really faint and I'm doing this just to kind of give me an idea of where I want to go. Then I'm going to go in with Kat Von D's Lolita. And this is just going to like give me that natural pinkish brown look and it's gonna make my lips really stand out. And I'm actually I'm actually going over the line. Just adds a little definition underneath the lip just to give it that fuller look. So like I said, I'm blending out that line with the brush. Then I'm gonna go in with this highlighter right here from the Carly Bible palette and just highlight the cheekbones. So it's just gonna give me just a little bit of a little bit of that glisten that I like to have. Then I'm gonna take this Makes Contour Kit and apply some of this blush on well it's not blush it's like a lighter brown color on the end I'm gonna apply that on my cheeks just to give me some color then I'm gonna go in with a blush actually and apply that right on top and this is just gonna kind of tie in this Lolita color with my cheeks because this is just uh, like a rose colored blush And I think it's called something rose, Romantic Rose. Um, and it's by Milani, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. I'm gonna take my all over the face brush again, and this is by Morphe, and I'm just gonna blend all this out. Actually, this highlight, I don't want it to pop in. Because it is winter time, I mean, I love a great highlight, but I don't need to go all out and go crazy. So this is it guys, this is the final look. I have been loving this look as of lately. It is like my go-to staple makeup look whenever I wanna do a natural makeup look and I don't wanna have like all the glitz and glam on. I still do contour my face or whatever, but I still keep like the lip natural and the eyes natural. I do have lashes on as I showed you guys a little bit earlier because I just love a good lash. I feel like lashes are always a necessity for me because mine aren't very long. Um, you don't have to use lashes if you wanna try this look out you can you know keep your natural lash it's just that mine aren't very long so I like to just add some kind of lash so I always go with like a natural looking eyelash to kind of complete the look for me oh um, I want to do a Twitter Q&A 
and I want to do an Instagram Q&A. So if you guys want to ask me questions, please tweet me. Uh, it's Ms. Ashley Chanel on Twitter. I will put it on the screen and then I'll also put it down below. You guys can tweet me any questions you want to ask me or anything you want to know. I want to have this Twitter Q&A up this week. So please follow me on Twitter if you're not following me and tweet me a question. So I'll leave it down below. An Instagram one I will do in a couple of weeks, but I want to get a Twitter one up this week. So guys, tweet me your questions and I will answer them in another video coming up this week. But you got to do it and I will uh, get back to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this talk through. I don't usually do talk through videos, so I wanted to kind of do something a little different for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I love you and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.